plant-based meat alternatives. Touted as the future of the meat industry, they've been spreading throughout the media like wildfire throughout the past couple years, and for good reason. There are numerous different appeals that this new product has towards the consumers. It's been advertised to have the same taste, texture, and even look as animal meat. Impossible Foods' version of the burger has a bleeding effect that is made from heme compounds. So let's take a look at some of the background behind this explosive growth of this new type of meat. Plant-based meat alternatives can be dated back to 2nd century China, where tofu was made from soybeans. Nowadays, the protein content of these newer plant-based burgers have been created to compete with beef and poultry gram for gram, and they attain it from soy, peas, or mung beans. Cost is a pretty big factor in whether plant-based meat will succeed or not in the harsh meat industry. Consumers don't want to end up spending a fortune on replacing something in their diet, the original of which they could just get cheaper anyways. The reason why CNBC posits is because meat companies have a huge leg up on scale. With the sourcing of ingredients required to make plant-based meat, the synthesization process of the production will just end up costing more than meat. However, companies are working on reducing the cost, with Impossible Meat dropping their prices twice in the last 18 to 20 months, each time by 15 to 20 percent. Currently, the cost continues to drop for plant-based meat products in general, and analysts predict the price will be comparable to animal meats in 15 to 20 years. Many consumers believe that plant-based meat alternatives are healthier than their animal counterparts. This is not always the case, as shown by this table from Tufts University Health and Nutrition Letter, which highlights the vastly superior amounts of sodium in the plant-based meat alternatives. While the alternatives are heavily processed in nature, compared to the beef burgers, they are relatively similar, and are healthier in terms of protein, fat, and calories. As plant-based meat alternatives reach the mainstream market, both consumers and producers have to be more aware of the reasons why the substitute came to exist in the first place. In terms of animal welfare and environmental causes, red meat and mass livestock production is extremely problematic. And the heart of the environmental issue is because of the recent findings that meat and dairy use 87% of farmland and produce 60% of agriculture's greenhouse gas emissions. No matter the type of justification, there are a plethora of growing reasons why a consumer will want to avoid purchasing meat. As 70% of the world population reportedly is either reducing meat consumption or leaving meat off the table altogether, mostly due to the various health and social causes surrounding it, it is evident that consumers are now searching for a protein substitute that can replace it. Um, no. Actually, just once. I've had plant-based meat at a restaurant once. Um, I was just finishing up a friend's burger because she didn't want to finish it. But apart from that, my family and I have never had plant-based meat. The National Academy of Sciences predicted in 2016 transitioning towards more plant-based diets could reduce global mortality by 6 to 10 percent and food-related greenhouse gas emissions by 29 to 70 percent. If Canada's red meat consumption dropped 25 percent, then our total greenhouse gas emissions from the livestock sector would drop 10.7 percent. I think plant-based meat is like um, better for the environment than normal meat, and that. Um, but I think there probably will be a taste difference. I've never tried it, so I'm looking like, forward to it. On the other hand, Nicole Blackstone of Friedman School's Division of Agriculture, Food, and Environment reported that the plant-based meat analogs use 87 to 99 percent less water and have 89 to 90 percent smaller carbon footprint compared to a beef burger. However, driving the change from animal products and towards a new plant base are the youth and young adults of the world, as described in a Forbes article by Michael Rowland, claiming that millennials are one of the key drivers of this global shift away from consuming animal products. So let's hear some of the opinions students here at Walnut Grove Secondary School have on plant-based meat. Hi, my name is Ryza. I'm a grade 12 from Walnut Grove Secondary. Um, I think I think it's a really good idea because I don't know. I'm not vegetarian or vegan, but I think just things relating to protecting the animals of the world. I think it's a very good idea to eat food that's not from them. So I personally, if I didn't eat all of the food from my that my family makes, I would probably go vegan if I had the chance. I mean, what's affecting my dietary preferences is partially just what my mom cooks. I mean, I when I can, when I have the choice of what to eat, I'll just eat usually a meat-based dish because they're pretty good. I have nothing restricting what I eat. Um, In my family, the food that's given to us is kind of like a form of love from them. So if I don't eat their food, it's kind of like I'm rejecting like what they're giving me. So I try my best just to eat their food even if it's not even if it's not like vegetarian because they usually always make food out of meat. So I mean like I don't really have an opinion because I've never tried it before. 
But I think, I think it has good intention. I think it's a good thing. A big question that many have is if the alternative actually has a different taste than normal animal meat. Let's check it out. Just have a bite. I think one, which I believe to be the actual meat, is more clumpy than the other one, which dissolves more easily. Mm, other than that, can't really tell the difference. I can tell. Yeah. I don't think there's like a huge um, difference in taste, uh, but for the texture, Beyond meat, it's like more, um, I guess it's more spread out. It's more like powder, and then uh, normal meat is like definitely more solid. The future of plant based meat alternatives looks bright currently. There are numerous smaller companies scaling larger in size and funding within the current industry, and as the Rolling Stone puts it, diversity of founders, emerging markets, and a record year for investment are certainly wild cards in this space, as the burgeoning industry seeks to upend the traditional food manufacturing industry model. At the end of 2021, Impossible Foods announced a record-breaking $500 million investment to fuel the future of plant-based protein ahead of an anticipated IPO in early 2022. The growing movement away from animal meat goes beyond the concept of just plant-based meat, however. There are cultured, meaning lab-grown, as well as fungi-based meat alternatives hitting the market as well. Looking at the future, this sprouting industry of meat alternatives looks bright indeed.